in our neighborhood. I was not far from him on the Washington Mall on that magic day in August when he delivered his famous speech. It's hard now to summarize all that he meant to us when he was alive and how great our loss is now upon his death. The true measure of any man is how his message continues on after he's passed from the scene. We have very recent proof that Martin Luther King meets that standard. Tawakal Karman, this year's 32-year-old Yemeni winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, said just last week, Martin Luther King inspired me, most because he sought change peacefully. Also Gandhi and Nelson Mandela, but really to the largest extent is Martin Luther King. We try to use change using the same methods. King's message resonates in faraway Yemen and everywhere around the world, just as it stirred millions of us and continues to do so today. Since he died, a constant question I've received whenever a racial advance occurred was, what would Dr. King have said about this? What would he say when America elected its first black president? Would he think that this achievement was a confirmation of his dream? Would he say that these things would not have happened if he had not lived? I've always felt he'd be pleased whenever any element of racial progress occurred, but he wouldn't think that nirvana had come, and he wouldn't try to claim credit for everything. And this is what I think he would want us to say today, what he said at his last sermon. He'd say, I'd like somebody to mention that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to give his life serving others. I'd like for somebody to say that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to love somebody. I want you to say that day that I tried to be right on the war question. I want you to say that day that I did try to feed the hungry. I want you to be able to say that day that I did try in my life to close those who were naked. And I want you to say on that day that I did try in my life to visit those who were in prison. I want you to say that I tried to love and serve humanity. Yes, if you want to say I was a drum major, say I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. I was a drum major for righteousness. Racial equality, economic justice, world peace, those were the themes that occupied Dr. King's life. They've occupied the lives of his family members, three of whom are with us today. Here to tell us of their father and brother are Dr. King's eldest son, Martin Luther King III, daughter and youngest child, Reverend Bernice King, and Dr. Christine King Ferris, Martin Luther King's sister, the last surviving member of that generation of the family. 